place close to your work would be better for you. Is this okay? It's fine, I guess. I can't stay late anyways. Greg and I have been... Oh, Greg, right. How is Mr. Stick up his ass? <laughs> Things at the firm still A-OK? -okay? Greg is fine, thank you. And if all you're going to do is resolve my husband, I have no intention. A little bit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. This is not how I wanted to start out. Please, let me get you a drink. Fine. So, how was your day? What have you been up to? Yeah, seriously, this is why you invited me out here to ask me about my day. Couldn't you have done this over the phone? Come on, I can't have a drink with my daughter and ask her to tell me about her life. You, come on, we haven't met up in months. The last time we spoke was what? Weeks ago, so don't act like we get together all the time. And, and whose fault is that? Certainly not mine. Ever since your mother died, it's like I have the plague and you have no time for your old man. Dad, I work 65 hours a week. I have a I know you're busy. You've got this function, this travel, this event. I've heard it all. But all I know is you didn't have all of this stuff to do when your mother was alive. You managed to see us. You managed to come to our side of town and visit. And now, if I don't schlep over this way, it, it, it's, it's a non-starter with you. And that husband of yours, he's not the friendliest guy on the block. What's that supposed to mean? He's a mute. He doesn't say anything. He just sits there. You ask him a question, and, yep, nope, sure, OK. It's disconcerting. Dad, he's quiet. Not everyone can be a chatterbox like you. He doesn't need to be a chatterbox, but more than a one-word answer would certainly be helpful. Okay. If all you going to do is rag on Greg, I'm no, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I get started and I, I get on a roll. Look, I asked you here for a reason. There's Something I need to tell you, and I didn't want to do it over the phone. Okay. What do you need to tell me? I've met someone. Her name is Daisy. I started using that oldies but goodies dating site. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I figured, what the hell? And then, bam, I met Daisy. She's pretty. Funny? She's just as much of a smart ass as I am. <coughs> and we, we have a lot of fun together. Earth to Lindsay. Come in, Lindsay. Have you heard anything I said? I heard you. And? So how long have you been seeing this woman? She has a name, Lindsay. Her name is Daisy. I don't know, three, four months maybe. Not that long, but long enough to know I really like her and I, and I want to keep seeing her. And that's why I wanted to talk to you. I want you all to meet. No, no, no. Hey, 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 what is wrong? Where, where, where are you going? What is wrong? Yeah. Mom's been gone, what, a year? And you're already on dating websites? Sorry, Dad, but if you wanted someone to say good for you, you came to the wrong dad. Liz, I loved your mother. You know that. She knew that. But she also wanted me to be happy. We talked about this before she died. She told me. Your mother said, after she was gone, I should find someone if, and I quote, if you can find someone who will put up with you and all your crap. <laughs> I'm surprised to see this reaction out of you! What exactly did you expect was going to happen? Well, considering we've had a pretty non-existent relationship since your mother passed, I expected a pretty neutral response. I was hoping you'd be just a little bit happy for me, but I didn't expect you to be mad. Jeez. So just because Mom gave you her blessing to date after she was gone, 
You thought I was reading a paper for this? Jesus, Dad! Wait, read. What is going on? You want to know why I've been around since mom died? Yes. I just can't. I can't go back to our old neighborhood. I I can't go back to our old house. Who can cook at you? It reminds me too much of her, and it hurts too much. I go to events, I work, I travel, just so I don't have to think about her. The second I get a free moment, her face, her smile, her smell, it just seeps into my brain. And if I don't keep busy, it just consumes me. Liz, why is thinking about your mother such a bad thing? I mean, she was your mom, for Christ's sake. It's not that I just think about her. It's that I start obsessing over the fact that I'm never going to be able to hear her voice again or laugh at her ridiculous puns. Yeah, she was the best when it came to puns. She must have had a couple hundred of those cheeseburger times. If you got a really bad cold, it's not a cheeseburger. It's a sleezeburger. <laughs> and if it's for a dog, it's a... Sleezeburger. <laughs> Now, where is that server with our drinks? Mm -hmm. 